welcome everyone. The first step to access iPhone files from the computer, Windows or Mac, is we need to open up the settings. And at the very top, you should see your name. If you don't, just scroll down until you see iCloud and then just tap on this option right here. Now, we're going to tap on the iCloud option again. And we want to turn on this feature called iCloud Drive. Make sure Sync This iPhone is on. And with iCloud Drive, we can transfer files to the drive and then they will show up on the computer. So to transfer the files, we need this application from the App Store called the Files app. This is made by Apple. It should be installed on your iPhone, but if it's not, it's a free download from the App Store. And once we open up the Files app, we're going to tap on the Browse button and just keep on tapping this until you are brought to this Browse menu. And we can see the iCloud Drive is available. But right now, you may have some stuff in here automatically. So I have some downloads, but most likely nothing's here. So to move files into the iCloud Drive, just find an app with the file or the photo you want to move. So let's say the photos. And let's say I want to move some photos. So just select the photos or select the file. The process will be the same because we just want to look for this share button here. And when you tap on share, you can then scroll down. And we have this option which says save to files. So we're going to tap on this one and just make sure you have selected the iCloud drive. And then you're just going to tap on save. And now the files will be uploaded to the iCloud drive. Once this is done, we can now view them on the computer. So let's move to the computer. On the computer, we're going to head over to iCloud.com. You can access this on either Windows or Mac, or even Linux if you have. And we're going to click on the sign in button here. And we need to sign in with the same Apple ID which we use on our iPhone. And once we have signed in, we may need to accept some terms and conditions. I recommend you trust the browser so that you don't have to constantly re-sign in. And inside of here, we should see the iCloud Drive. So let's click on the Drive here. And it's now going to load up the iCloud Drive. So you can see the files that I uploaded today. These are photos. And you can see everything here. You have the Browse button if you would like to. So we can just browse this drive. So let's say I want to download something. Uh, let's click on a photo. And once you've done this, there is the download, which is a cloud. And by clicking on the cloud, we can download the photo right here. And we can open it up. If you want to upload something to the drive, this is the upload button. And then you can upload your files. Once you upload these files, they will show up on the iPhone, but you may need to close out of and reopen the Files app on the iPhone for the file to show up. If you press the Command key on Mac or Shift key on Windows, and we're holding it down, click on the files, you can select multiple files at once to download. Do note that you cannot download folders. You can see the download option does not show up. So if you wanted to download all files in a folder and you don't want to hold down command or shift to individually select each item, what you can do is while holding down command on Mac or control on Windows, just press command or control plus A and that will select everything in the folder. And when you click on the downloads here, it's going to download each individual file like this. And you can open up the file. And we have this other file here, the zip. Let's open up the zip. And you can see everything was downloaded successfully. 
With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.